All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are going to be taking a look at another fun mod, this time in the form of Elcar's Impulse Drive Plugin by Phil Lotical. Now this, this mod is pretty freaking awesome but an oddity for me to check out. Normally, when I take a look at mods, I like to look at ones that are complete but are still being worked on to add more features. This mod is very, very much still in development. So much so that you actually do have to go into config files to add the bits of code that you need for parts to work correctly. So it is a bit more involved to install this than a typical mod, but you know what? It's freaking worth it. It's Elcar's Impulse Drive, and it is glorious. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to load up a uh, another Star Trek ship. Now we have looked at some in the past, and this is actually a new one. Uh, the Voyager by Star Vision, and it's a fully featured Voyager, which I probably could do a whole video just on that, but we're using it as our ship for the Impulse Drive plugin. Oh dear god, let's zoom out, and you may notice we have uh, L cars a bit here. Oh god, oh god, I touched things. Okay, 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 hold on, let's try and counteract that, there we go. <laughs> um, so right into things here already, we are floating because, well, we're using Star Trek style impulse drives, and <laughs> you, this whole thing is an Elcar's control pad, which is interesting. Rather than using your typical controls that you would use for flying, you actually touch and hold parts of this to do various things, and you also have commands over here. Now, one unfortunate thing for it at the moment is its size. We can move it around, but it is it is quite small. Oh my, that is very small. Um, potentially even hard for you guys to read, uh, but oh well, <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to roll with it. Uh, it. It is an issue, I wish this could be scalable, uh, perhaps in the future of the plugin, it will be for at the moment though. Uh, it is not. Now, like I was saying, you can kind of touch these parts of the L cars to move yourself forward, reverse, go side to side, and you can even click and hold into these parts in here to get varying degrees in between all of those. And oh, let's bring ourselves back, 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 back. There we go. Let's slow down. Now, we do have also over on the side other commands. Like, for instance, we have the Prograde Stabilizer, which, if you have this selected, it'll allow you to fly this ship very similarly to a regular plane. So, if you have that turned on, you can just throttle up and fly around like you normally would. Uh, with it turned off, it is... Well, it's it's like flying a brick. It is not exactly... <laughs> it is not exactly a very, uh good space plane as the Voyager, but with the prograde stabilizer on, it does fly much better. Now we also have lock acceleration, which will lock your ship to the acceleration speed that you're currently wanting it to go. Hold speed will hold it at a specific speed for it to return to. Hold height is similar, it'll keep at that height that you're wanting. Slow down will let it slow down, and eventually you can come to a full halt and you can do this make slow to save which is uh, uh yeah it basically brings this baby to a complete halt and you can then land it with this which is uh interesting now we also have down here the shutdown reactor which with this shutdown if we click this it's it's on by default if we click this off voyager will fall to the ground and explode because of course we're from kind of a high height here and uh, yeah, so if you shut down the reactor, the whole Elcar's impulse system just shuts off and you fall back to wherever you were. Full impulse will put you just right up to full speed. Formation command. This is an interesting one. If you have multiple ships with the Elcar system installed and out in your world, you can use this to fly them in formation. I have not been able to get this to work. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure why. I I'm, I'm think I'm doing something wrong because I've seen videos of that working. 
Uh, but I just think I'm doing something incorrect. Uh, but yes, that is supposed to allow you to fly things in formation, which is quite cool because it there are some uh, cool little uh, shuttle crafts that were made by the same person, Star Vision, as the uh, Voyager here was. So, uh, you know, you can get some yourself some uh, shuttle craft or Voyager fly in formation. It's quite cool. And uh, then we also have image form orders, which this one, I'm not entirely sure what that one does at the moment. Uh, there is still a lot of things that are very much in progress on this. Not everything works correctly, but it's still fun, still great. And you can see our Kerbals down here are loving life. Now, there is more to this than just this L cars control pad that we can use to uh, reverse ourselves. And even these bits on the side here, we can go left and right or up and down, like if we just lower ourselves down. Oh God, slow, 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 slow. There we go, there we go. Now you can still, of course, control the tilt of the craft with your general, you know, WASD keys or joystick or whatever you have. Full halt, there we are. Oh, beautiful, now with this we, we could actually land, but let's, let's bring up our landing gear on the Voyager. I said bring up the landing gear. Retract. Interesting. Hitting that didn't work, but manually retracting did. Intriguing. But yes, there is more to this than just the L cars control panel. If you click the uh, little insignia there, you get this subsystems controller here, which isn't as nice an L cars as uh, the flight controls, but this gives you a lot of fun, cool information. For instance, we have ship info. We are quite a heavy craft currently made of three parts and a complement of crew members of seven and we can have up to 23 on this ship which is quite cool and uh, then various cargo bay information here oh wow we have 39 cargo bay full oh, we have tons of worth of cargo all right that's that's cool we could fit a lot in this thing uh, but then you also have a, uh, across the top here your power systems so we can adjust our power generators, as right now this baby is using warp plasma and really zero electrical charge? That seems interesting. Huh. We can still control it. Or can we? Oh, turn off full halt. Oh, we can. Interesting. I'm wondering then why it is saying zero electrical charge. That is intriguing. That might be something to do with the ship. Uh, but oh, apparently we are overheating the core. That seems intriguing, huh? But we are using a crap load of power. Again, rem remember, still in development, so not all of this may be currently functioning correctly. For instance, the overheating the core. We're sitting here, perfectly stationary. Core should not be doing a thing, huh? Now we also have, oh actually, let's turn off the power so we just have the uh, sensors on here. This is fully integrated with science, so you can go to scan a planet Though that is still to do. Uh, you can measure a distance, still to do, and scan a ship. Ooh, ooh, we can do that one. And I do have, I was kind of saving it for the weapon system because we do have tactical array. Uh, we, I have a Borg cube sitting over there, which is a, another thing by uh, Star Vision, one another craft made by him, which is, uh, it's quite fun. Always good to have a Borg cube. Let's scan the cube. Okay, so name, board cube, mass, uh, 1,100 tons, dry mass, 100, one part. It's a ship of unknown configuration. Well, let's just perform a tactical scan. That, that did nothing. <laughs> oh, oh, I may have broken something. I have not performed a tactical scan yet, so that. Oh my, yes, I think, I think I broke this. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, folks, still in development. Let's see if we can... No, I cannot seem to turn that back on or off. So I'm going to pause the recording and I'll bring you guys back in a moment. Okay, and I am back with subsystems working again. <laughs> Once more, in development still, so there are screwy things. Uh, but yeah, so maybe don't do a tactical scan for now until that's fixed. So moving on in the systems that we have, we actually do have a functioning transporter. So if we do, for instance, a ship to EVA, 
and do ship to ground. Now you then get a basically whatever is directly below the ship view and we can zoom in on that. So right now it's kind of from this position because we're so low to the ground, but if you were in orbit, it would be looking through the ship and you can zoom in and we get that little, uh, those lines there and that is where it will transport your Kerbal to. And it's quite fun, so let's send down, oh, who to send? Kirkot Kerman, there we are. And we get, oh, oh god, the ship is lowering. Oh no. <laughs> Good thing we had the landing gear down that time, otherwise, oh my god, that is big compared to our Kerbal there. Again, still in development, but my word is it fun. So let's move out of the shadow of Voyager here. <laughs> and play around with our tricorder that comes with the L cars system. It is quite cool. Again, it's integrated in with science, so we can run a uh, tricorder away team status, which of course does nothing because I am on sandbox mode. We can also do a geographical scan. We can do a atmospheric scan, a hydrospheric scan and even a gravitation uh, scan. All of those with your tricorder so you can collect some science by sending your Kerbals down on away missions. And of course, when we hit L cars here, we can disable our link to the L car system or use this button, which will transport us back to Voyager. So if we just click that and then, oh, auxiliary helm, huh. I kind of want to click this, but with my luck, it'll make the thing go haywire again. So let's just transport up and ship to EVA and ship to, oh, hold a moment, saying ship to ground, oh, oh, EVA to ship, that's what I need to click. So I guess you could use this to send another Kerbal down to your position or go ship to ship, but we need to go EVA to ship and board Kerkot back up, board away. There we are, and we are inside of the vessel now. All right, there we go. And now with this transporter, it'll show the whole list. Now, like I said, when we had the ship info out, we currently have seven crew, but this can currently hold an extra 23. So it'll show all of those, and you can do them ship to ship, ship to ground, whatever it is that you need to do. And it will do it, and actually, I believe, that there is some crew in the Borg Cube. There we are, so Borg Cube, and let's bring Jebediah and bring him over to Voyager. Oh God, I hope this doesn't break things. And we should now have Jebediah Kerman. So if we hit back and do ship to EVA, we should be able to find Jebediah right there. We have teleported Jebediah from the Borg Cube over to Voyager. So it does in fact work. Let's turn those off and get us back in the air. Oh no, we need to turn off full halt. Go up. There we are. And, oh, that should be good. That should be good. Full halt now. There we go. And we're gonna try the tractor system. Select the Borg cube, and we can initialize additional force for the tractor beam. So I wonder, that is a Borg cube, and it is heavy as hell. We may have to bring it. Oh, it may not be able to fully bring in a Borg cube. Now I have seen videos of this tractor beaming a shuttle into the shuttle bay. So that may be why it can't pick up the Borg cube. It may just be too large, but I'm, I'm unsure that may just be, yeah, it may be for some other reason. But uh, okay, so we have the tractor beam system. Fuel transfer, we can transfer fuel around and to other ships. The SIF, which is the structural integrity field, it's partially to do, essentially it'll help your ship from breaking up. There is a cloak, which is to do. It doesn't do a darn thing now, no matter what you change on here. And finally, the tactical. This is what I've been wanting to play around with. I haven't tried this yet, so hopefully it works. So we'll select the board cube and phaser yield to just 0.5. Fire, fire. There we go, we get the little beam. Let's put it all the way up. 
the full 500. Oh, that's great. It's even got the beautiful sound. And let's do... Whoop, whoop. No, am I moving that? There we go. Torpedo yield just the 0 0.1. Fire torpedo. It made the sound, but unfortunately... No animation. Intriguing. Well, let's put it all the way up. Force 500. And fire. It's saying no target. Interesting. Well, the Borg Cube still exists, so it may just be at the moment cosmetic, but still, I like the fact that we can click that to make the torpedo sound. That makes me happy. Same with the phaser. That's just glorious. Oh, so very glorious. Uh, but yeah, this thing, this this whole system is just so much fun. I love being able to just click on the L cars pad here and move ourselves side to side or even diagonally if I so desire. And of course, if we're on a heading we like, we could just do a head or reverse or do a left and right down here as well. And then of course, up and down. It's, it's very good controls, I quite like it, and I can actually see this being extraordinarily useful for docking, having this sort of fine-tuned controlling like this, that would be fun. And besides that, all your different subsystems are just loads of fun. I really do like playing around with like the transporter system and, and all that sort of stuff. It is cool, I, I especially do love the transporter system, that is just hilariously good fun. And, yeah, I love the fact that you can just sort of shoot around your uh, Kerbals wherever you need, ship to ship, or send them on an EVA. We are going down, and I don't want that. Let's go slow down. Slow, 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 slow. There we go. And... Oh, hold on. Actually, you know what? Tech was slower. Let's go up. And then I'm going to turn on the prograde stabilizers. I'm gonna turn off full halt, turn off the prograde. And there we go. Ah, it flies like a brick. It still flies like a brick. <laughs> so, oh my, I am getting some frame drops from that. But, uh, oh! Oh, the transporter system still appears to be on. We have little dots down in the ocean for the transporter system. That is, <laughs> if we just turn off the subsystems completely. Oh no, that um, that may be permanently there. But yeah, with the prograde stabilizers on as well as SAS, it actually flies pretty nicely. Uh, without either of them, it is kind of uh, a pain to fly this thing. But you know what? Overall, it's fun. So, so very fun. Those landing gear are kind of, hmm. Uh, but yeah, if uh, you would like to check this out for yourself, you can check out the links in the description. I'll put on the links both to this plugin as well as the cool ships made by Star Vision. Uh, it, it, the Voyager is just very, very well made. I absolutely love it. And you even got cool IVA view, which is just so, so wonderful that we have this. And it even, oh, let's actually go over to that crewman, or actually that screen. We do have the full Voyager back there. So it is quite, quite well put together. I do enjoy it. But yeah, I'll include the links. Definitely go and check it out. Like I said, it is a little bit screwy to get installed because it is uh, still very much in development and does require you to uh, edit some config files to get it to work. But it is very much worth it. I I've had a lot of fun with this. And can't wait to play around with it more, especially the teleporter. Oh, God, I love the teleporter. Uh, but, yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And, of course, that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And, as always, have a good one. My word, we are going fast. Look at those heat effects. <laughs> all right, later, guys.